to be here. And we are, we had a fabulous day. Um, and we're just over the moon to have passed all that work. <laughs> and we're really grateful to the support of both our husbands. Yes. 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 Um, I'm Billy Carruthers. I'm uh, graduating today in computer games uh, development. Uh, been at the uni four years myself now. Um, it's a great experience, really good lecturers, very enthusiastic lecturers, which I think is what really made the course for myself. Uh, really enjoyable, good atmosphere in the whole kind of computing environment in the uni. <laughs> My name is Clifton Wilson. Hi, I'm Selena Quay. And we just both graduated from psychology at the University of Bedfordshire. Start with graduates in the UK. 40,000 of them will be without a job, says The Guardian. 40,000? Yeah, the class of 2009, not a very good year. Many students who attend university believe that their degrees will open many exciting job prospects for them. However, this is not always the case. Three years on, and with the academic year drawing to a close, and graduations quickly approaching once more, we have decided to tackle one of the country's most pressing issues, graduate unemployment. We spoke to Sue Glenister at the University Recruitment Office to find out how they are going to help the class of 2012. It's not easy at the moment. There is quite a lot of unemployment um, out there. Um, one of the biggest problems they have is not having the experience in, in their chosen sector so um, and, and obviously it's knowing where to look as well a lot of them not sure where to look for the vacancies so so that can be a big challenge as well since the beginning of the year I think we've probably placed about 30 graduates something like that um, but obviously a lot of graduates go out and find vacancies on their own so we only record the ones we actually place yeah, I'm finding it challenging. Um, the challenging part of it is because I don't really know what exactly I want to what I want to do. Um, it's so it's so broad. My you know, my ideas of what I want to do. It's difficult to pin them down. To say yeah, I'd be happy doing this role. I'd be happy doing that role. I'll apply for all of those kind of roles. It's difficult. Like, I've applied for a complete different range of jobs recently. Jobs in sport. Jobs in business. You know, jobs in the university setting, jobs in student unions, different like, you know, there's so many avenues that I'm lucky enough to have open to me that kind of just, it's a matter of narrowing it down to what I want to do, really. I'm a sports journalist student, I'm in my third year, about to graduate. Um, I'm finished now, I'm just waiting on my results, really, before I uh, graduate and try and get a job. Well, my first experience, I remember driving down and Luton is quite an ethnic place and has a lot of different ethnicities and where I come from it was completely different so I was a bit shocked by what I first saw and it sort of made me think I don't want to be here but then after a while, after like the first few days, it was, um, we settled in and it was quite good, it was alright. I'm doing a Masters in Public Relations. Um, my highest point was getting my 2-1 on my undergraduate because Combined with my lowest point, I did really bad up until third year, and then I kind of thought that I need to put in the effort, and I did put in a lot of effort in the last three months and managed to get the grade I wanted, so that's probably the best, best part. And we run a drop-in every day between 11 and 5, where students just come in, uh, they can get their CVs checked and things like that. that so that's busy sort of throughout the day, really, probably, um, probably see between 10 and 20 students just in the drop-in, um, and then advisors do booked appointments as well. Your, what's your sort of biggest high point now you've finished your course over three years? Ooh. There's not a better feeling when you push it through that little hand in, hand in centre, is there? Just, no, just the true. weight lifted off your shoulders, just, just a relief. You know, you finally finished, you finally achieved something. I think it's also nice, uh, you know, we've been, the last three years we've been training towards this moment uh, to graduate and embark on our careers and so it's been it's nice to now actually finally get to that point where you're applying for jobs that once you just you just never imagined you'd be able to apply yeah. for. Um, has your career prospects changed? Definitely, considerably. Um, okay I understand that the job market out there is pretty difficult at the moment um, but you know, I wouldn't have as good a standing as I do now if I hadn't have done my degree um, for those jobs. So, you know, it's I think it's a bit of a no-brainer um, in terms of doing a degree. If why wouldn't you do a degree as opposed to why would you? If that makes sense. It is quite hard. Like I found applying to a lot of jobs, there's 
so many people applying, like it is tough to get something, but I have landed an interview, so I'm hoping that will go well for a grad scheme. So yeah. We've been graduating today and uh, well we just came out of the ceremony it was really really nice it was really well it was really nice to see everyone again it was nice to see the tutors again and the new president apparently uh, yeah it was really it was really really nice and emotional I think um, it feels very good to uh, to graduate finally okay that's the moment we've been waiting for for everyone today we have just graduated and the graduation ceremony was um, it was very emotional, um, it was a massive relief, if anything, as well, Just um, and a very proud moment that you finally, all your hard work over the last year and a bit, I think it was for our master's course, has finally paid off and we've got a certificate that we've graduated and it's all done and dusted. I feel really glad that I'm graduated today. I'm very proud of myself that I can yeah, finish my course because um, I came from Thailand, so I'm not really good in English, but anyhow, I can achieve my goal, so today I'm very proud of myself. Well, good morning. Yes, today we're releasing the employment and unemployment figures for the three months to January 2012. And the unemployment figures are showing a rise on the previous three months of 28,000 to 2.67 million. And that's uh, mainly caused by an increase in the number of 16 to 24-year-olds unemployed. They've gone up 16,000 to 1.04 million. Landing a job, fulfilling potential, climbing the career ladder. John Smith had those dreams a year ago when he graduated from Durham University with a 2-1 in archaeology. But those dreams haven't materialised. He's been unemployed for 12 months. I just sort of uh, pot around, really, and try and keep the place sort of uh, looking tidy. He's moved from Skipton in Yorkshire to his girlfriend's parents' house in Wiltshire, and he's currently applying for at least one job every day. Has it surprised you how bad it's been? It really has. Uh, I knew it was going to be tough. I just presumed that coming from a, a prestigious university like Durham would have, would have lifted me out of that situation. Are you angry about it? Yeah, because I feel that I've fulfilled any sort of academic uh, commitment. I've, I've done everything right so far. And I just thought that with that, I would have had some sort of reward at the end of it. Are you aware of how hard it is for other people to find jobs off at, uh, after uni? So? Uh, yeah, it's something that I took into consideration when picking a university and I picked this one because I believe it had the third highest employment rate of, um, of graduates in the country. Which, which It's a phenomenal figure, that really is. I've got a couple of job offers in recruitment consultancy and stuff like that, public relations, that sort of way of things. I've had uh, a few offers thus far, um, but it's whether it's difficult when you're a graduate um, when you when you graduate you you have to then decide whether you want to go for and chase the money or whether you want to embark on a career that that could lead to where you want to be so uh, it's a case of having to filter through lots of kind of attractive looking jobs to then get to the, the core of actually what you want to do and what, what you've trained in so uh, I have had a couple of offers within sport journalism and it's just about assessing which one I think could take me further. Yeah, um, I'd say that when you come to university you don't really have the end goal in mind, you don't ever really think you're going to graduate. Um, when you come to university throw yourself every single opportunity you can because it leads to so many more opportunities. Like be a course rep, get involved in volunteering, you know, go out there, meet new people, like make connections, network, stuff like that. It's just, it's so helpful because I've found it really helpful for me, and so I'm sure other people will. Do you want? Do you want to know my uh, top tip? Is there are no tricks in this business. 
You've got to work hard. You can, Oh, sure. Yeah, you can play hard, but you've got to work hard too. What is the best job you've got in the uh, graduate before? job we've got a graduate. Yeah. Well I know one of our students went to work for um, I think it was CBB, C CBBC. The, the BBC as a children's presenter so I think that was quite a good one especially for the media students. You've got to always have the end goal in mind okay you don't want to start so many people I know have started courses dropped out chosen other courses you've got to have an end career in mind when you embark on, on your degree, haven't you? Mm. And I think that's the key to graduating. Mm. And enjoy yourself as well. I mean, it's a time where you, you find yourself as a person.